Let us learn how to create this simple yet beautiful team introduction slide in PowerPoint. You can use this template to showcase any photos with their explanation. Now the best part is once you know how to do this simple animation, you can scale up or down the number of photos that you want to have on your slides. So let us jump right in and learn this simple animation. The first thing we want for this team introduction animation is to get the frame right. So let us go to shapes, go to basic shapes and here you have the option called as diagonal stripe. Select that and then hold the shift button down and draw a square like so. Now you can see that we have the frame element in place. Now it may not look so much like a frame but then once you move this yellow handle down you can see that we are creating one side of the frame. Then right click and then go to size and position and rotate it by 45 degrees like so. Now we have got our frame in place. You can reduce the size as much as you want and that is how you create one end of or one edge of the frame. Press Ctrl D to create a duplicate and then rotate it and then place it right next to the previous one and make sure that they both are properly aligned and then make a copy of both of these by pressing Ctrl D. For this one flip horizontally and then place this to the one side like this and this one you can flip vertically and you can place it over here and now we have got our frame in place. You can always zoom a bit closer like this and make sure that the alignment is proper because once you zoom in, you'll be able to see everything clearly. Once you're happy with everything, make sure that you also remove the outline and see if the alignment is proper. Now you can see as soon as I remove the outline, there is a small gap here. So I need to make some adjustments. Do all this before you start your animation process. Now we have got this pretty beautifully done. Now let us click on this option here called as fit slide to current window so we can work with this normally. Next, we want to insert the picture in the middle. I'm going to use one of the stock images and let us say I want to insert the image of a business woman and see which one I have. So this one is good. So insert. Now I'm going to crop this to a square. So let us go to crop by going to picture format tab and then say aspect ratio is one is to one. So this is now a squarish shape. Now I'm going to hold the shift button and then click and drag from the corner to adjust the size and I can move the picture to the extent I want. Now this is a perfect square. I'm going to hold the shift button down, click and drag from the corner and make sure that I have a proper sized photo to fit inside my frame. Now this looks fine. The next thing I'm going to do is to have my text underneath this. I've used two separate text boxes, one for the subtitle text which talks about name of the staff and the other one is another text box with a simple Calibri font to give the explanation. Now I can place this over here. If I want to add more team members, I can have their photos here as well. We will come to that a little bit later. Let us now get one prototype ready. Now I want to make sure that the frame color is pretty harmonious with the color of the photo here. So I'm going to just pick some color that I see inside the photo to make the frame look better. So I'm going to select all these frame shapes. Go to shape fill and then use eyedropper and pick some color, maybe some color that I see here. Good enough, now that looks pretty neat. The next step is custom animation. So I'm going to select this and use nothing more than a simple wipe animation. The direction is from left and right after that, I'm going to have this wiping in. The direction is by default from bottom. The next one wipe from right and the next one is wipe from top. Now go to animation pane and here we have four animations. The first one is on click. The remaining ones need to be after previous. So right after this, we need to have this, then this, this, and the duration of all of them need to be only for 0.1 second. So that is what I've changed here. And while the last one is getting animated, I want this also to animate. So I'm going to select this and use a wipe animation from top to match the direction of this wipe animation and it can be for 0.5 seconds it doesn't really matter and I'm going to say with previous and while this is happening I also want this floating in so I'm going to use a simple float in animation and the direction is float down 
and this can happen either with one second or it can be for 0.5 seconds i'm going to keep this as with previous one second so that is the animation let us go to slideshow and see what happens on a click we have a beautiful animation of the frame coming first and while the frame is getting completed we have the picture wiping down and then the name of the staff and the explanation comes along with it now once i have got one prototype it is only a matter of selecting everything and then making multiple copies of this by pressing ctrl d i can place the next one like this and the next one like this and you can see all of them are already animated so i don't really have to work on the animation once again now the next steps are fairly obvious you just need to change the photos the names the corresponding explanation and make sure that the frame color matches the color of some element inside the photo so everything looks harmonious there are multiple ways to create team intro slides in powerpoint one of the ways is this another way is to have three captioned photos like this can you see these are very simple animations to create another way is to show like this where a hand comes and draws these people and the one last example is this one called stylish photo frame where you can showcase your team member and give the associated explanation i have created a separate video on how to create this beautiful stylish photo frame now the thing is you can create those animated slides yourself from scratch by doing a lot of experimentation failing a few times and then you will get eventually something right but then if you want to save time then a quick and easy solution is to go for comprehensive all-in-one bundle where more than 4500 animated powerpoint templates are readily available for you to just pick and stick in your slide presentation the link to this product is in the description box below click on the link watch this video and get to know more about this product and see how it can change the way you create your presentations and just as i promised here is the video tutorial where i showed you in a step-by-step -step way how to create a stylish photo frame in powerpoint you can click on the link that you see right now on your screen and watch that video next i'll see you inside that video